Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Just who do you think you've brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones. And I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar. Keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. But not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. 
I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Of course, nobody can just be altruistic with their information and give it to us. The Baron has some more information about what happened to Siri, but of course, he's not gonna just give that information to us. We gotta go help him out. So we need to find his wife, Anna, and his daughter, Tamaria. Or Tamara, what the hell was her name? I don't know. So we gotta do the usual thing where we go to their bedrooms, and then we need to go and uh, use our Witcher senses to investigate all this stuff. You know, that's starting to sound very familiar, isn't it? <laughs> I guess maybe the door was jammed because they were trying to gate you. I never tried walking through this door prior to having the conversation with the Baron. But if I did, I guess I wouldn't have been able to get through it because they don't want me going here and spying on all this shit. Stem's <laughs> broken. I guess this is the Baron is and Anna's bedroom here. I think his name is Philip, but Bloody Baron sounds a little bit more badass. So you got to do all of the searching around and shit. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. This came across to me as weird that somebody was hiding a hole into a cupboard in order to hide something, but they weren't trying to hide things through the hole. It was just something hmm. in there. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Long story short, what had happened was Geralt found information of there being some kind of a struggle, a fight. So, so that candlestick got broken, there's a hole in the wall, there's wine spilled all over the floor, signs of a struggle. Then they go down here and he finds some, uh, he's, not, he's been going down, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost in a wrong area because the path seemed to lead us up to this part, but it's not really here that I'm looking at. I actually got to go into the basement. And I wandered around like an idiot looking for it for a while. And I'm stealing shit from the Baron the whole way. <laughs> so he goes down here, finds a few more clues. Everything really just points out to the... Uh, Eternal fire, huh? I wonder what that is. This is some kind of a religious thing. Somebody was praying to a foreign god, and the letter said a lot of things, including punish my father. <coughs> Done poking around. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. This is Triss. No offense, but, uh, not great with your hands, are you? Why don't you take some wooden rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with? 
Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air valus? Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads. Thank <laughs> you. 